Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today I'm gonna to use something that looks like a chocolate Pringle to make this, the Dom Pedro from South Africa. Let's see how good it really is. All right, welcome back. It's great to have every single one of you here. Today we're doing something interesting. This is a cocktail that is arguably South African in origin. That's right, we're making the Dom Pedro or Don Pedro, depending on how you want to say it. When you look up your recipes, you'll see them either under one or the other. And if you look at nomenclature or language, Dom means clergyman and Don means mister. And of course, Pedro is Peter. So one could be Father Peter, the other could be Mr. Peter. Now that we've gotten through that, this is an adult milkshake. And you know what? If you could hear me going squee in the back of my head, you would just absolutely uh, cry. But I'm a huge ice cream fan and I've decided to change the recipe just slightly. I've, I've pared it down in size, mostly because the recipe I looked at called for a pound of ice cream. That's 450 grams, which is almost half of a two liter thing of ice cream. Now, I don't need to drink that much ice cream, but if you feel the urge to, or make a picture of this, just double what I'm putting out. So we need a little bit of ice cream and I've gone with Chapman's. It's just, it's a local ice cream company that's close to where I live. So that's pretty awesome. And uniquely it's completely and utterly Canadian, which I really, really like. And it comes in this fancy box, which in this case is going to make it incredibly easy for me to actually uh, measure out. However, it's gonna make it extremely hard for me to store a little bit later. So I guess I'm gonna go through all the ice cream. So what you need here is 225 grams, which is about half a pound. So we would be right about here. Okay, maybe this is a little bit much, but I'm just gonna cut it up into chunks and we'll throw it nice and neat into our ice cream, little uh, mixer here, you know, because why not? And of course, you're gonna make that mess. Now I need something to put this on. Well, we'll figure that out in a moment. In fact, I'll leave it on this. Clean my hands. So the next thing we need is a little bit of heavy cream. And for this, we're going to use two ounces of heavy cream. Now I'm using a whipping cream. It has a 35% consistency of fat. And I find this works really, really well for the type of stuff that I like to do that's a creamy cocktail. You could use half and half, but it would be give you a slightly thinner consistency. And of course, two ounces is 60 milliliters. Next, we need Amarillo. Now, Amarillo is a uh, cream liqueur. It comes out of Africa. And the Amarillo fruit is what this is made out of. So truly, we're getting total tastes of Africa here. And if you think about it, it's very, looks like a Bailey's, but it's got a slightly more toffee type taste to it. Next, we're going to use a little bit of Kahlua. And I'm going to use one ounce of Kahlua because I like Kahlua and Kahlua is pretty awesome. It'll give me a little bit of a coffee flavor. One ounce is 30 mils. Looks really good and you know what? I'm thinking I maybe should have done this in my Ninja instead. So let's slap the lid on this and figure out how this works because I'm not technologically uh, uh, sound. Uh. All right, and you wanna do this tool, it's a nice, smooth consistency. In fact, I shouldn't be standing behind this when I talk to you. And we're gonna use a fancy glass today because you know what? It's dessert, I feel fancy. Grab your chocolate syrup of choice and we're just gonna put a little bit of rimming around here so it looks nice and pretty. Okay, looks good. Let's give this a bit of a pour.
Oh, look at that. Near perfection. And now we're gonna garnish this. And you're really gonna like this garnish because we have two types of garnish. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm gonna use a little bit of milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. I'm so interested in wanting to get into this, I can't speak straight. And what we'll do is we'll just grate a little bit of this over this so it's nice and neat looking. And it'll give us a gorgeous little layers of chocolate. However, I'm gonna use some chocolates. They look like little chips because I wanna do something neat and fancy and why isn't this working? Aha! The Pringles of chocolate. Okay, the Pringles of chocolate. <laughs> Okay. The Pringle of chocolate. There you go, look at that. <laughs> ah, and this looks so good. Let me give it a bit of a smell for you. And this is the Dom Pedro, by the way. Oh, it smells great. Of course, you get chocolate immediately up to your nose. Oh, you just... Mmm. Mmm. Um... Um... Uh... I don't know what to say, it's that good. Wow, is the word that I'm gonna use. Uh, um, uh oh. <laughs> if you like an awesome dessert cocktail, South Africa is where it comes from. This is just incredible. I don't know why more people don't think about this. Um, you get little hints of the uh, Kahlua, the toffee, the Amarillo. It comes out, you get the French vanilla is, oh, really, really good. You just can't go wrong with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the uh, description. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time you put up a new video, you'll be notified. And you know what? Here's to you, South Africa. And you know what? This is considered South Africa's cocktail. Well, actually not really, uh, I had one pound, but I'm cutting this uh, recipe down in half because you know, I don't need D to pay. I don't need to drew. <laughs> in your hand. Taller. And Merlo. Did you just want me to turn it? No. I was asking what it was. Oh, Amarillo, it's a cream liqueur from South Africa.